Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You'll be a dancer. <laughs> I got toothpaste. You got toothpaste? That's not bad. That's a dumb flavor to make bad. It tastes like crust. So this one, this one, this one. Pick the way you don't. Dirty dishwasher. You see? You see? It tastes like it. Not bad. What are you putting in it? I don't know. It's disgusting. It is so horrible. I need that toothpaste. <laughs> banana, strawberry banana smoothie or dead thing. I'm not gonna eat a dead thing. Let him know. Oh my god. Mm, I needed that one. That strawberry banana smoothie is good. <laughs> mm. Chocolate pudding or dog food? Dog food. Yep. We got that ain't the dog food. Oh. <laughs> What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Miss Bars, and I'm back with another video. All right, y'all. So, like I said, I got a couple of DMs where people were asking, what's my opinion on people who just don't get their child when they're doing things, you know, especially when you're working? All right, so I chose to actually do this video because this is one of the main things that irritate me as well. Not the fact that I'm watching a video and you can see that the baby just clearly in front of the camera almost the whole entire time. I chose to put a small clip in here, but trust me, there were parts where he not he almost knocked the whole entire thing of jelly beans on the floor. It like bounced up in the air and a whole bunch fell on the floor. He just would not stop consistently messing with those jelly beans and messing with Seven, messing with Bree. But anyway, when I'm around people who don't get their child... It's like I be trying to telepathically send them a message. You ever be sitting around people and their child, like say if you got on some white pants and their child just keep coming over there touching you and they got dirt on their hands and you looking at the parent like, come on, like you'll, you'll take the child and gently move them away from you trying to be nice and, or you'll start laughing because most of the time we'll start giggling like, <laughs> look at him and start moving them away slowly, right? And then you notice that the mom is not doing anything like, yo, sis, get your baby. I be thinking that like, damn, get your child. So I was like, yeah, I want to speak up on it a little bit. And hopefully people start taking heed to this shit. If you are around a, a bunch of other people, even one other person, and you see that your child is violating, they might have on a light color and your child just keep touching them and they got hot Cheetos on their hands, then go get your child. Or if y'all trying to make a video and your child is constantly screaming, touching stuff, moving all around, why not set the child over there, you know, in another place in the house inside the playpen with some toys? Because if a child doesn't have anything to do, of course, they're going to cause problems. You know what I'm saying? You have to make sure they are occupied before you start making your video or before you start doing whatever you want to do. Make sure your child has a snack. Maybe turn on a baby cartoon on YouTube so that they can watch it. You know, make sure they are good before you try to go do something. 
But anyway, I put y'all see I inserted a little bit of the uh comments that were about this from Seven's video. So y'all tell me what y'all think about um this type of situation. And also, if you don't mind sharing some of your experiences below so I could come and read it. Like let us know how like what situations were you in where someone else's baby was just violating or wouldn't stop crying or whatever the case is and you could see the mother just sitting there smiling, acting like nothing is wrong. And then on the flip side, we have people in the comments who were saying, well, this baby is at home and Seven and Bree are visitors. So he should be able to do whatever he want to do because he's at home and he's not hurting anyone. This is what someone else said. So y'all tell me what y'all think. Because I, I swear, bro, I was cracking up. I was trying to enjoy the video, but I couldn't because the baby was like just yelling and just doing stuff. So it's like... It was hard to enjoy, okay? I see that they are mothers, and I guess they didn't want to get a babysitter. Because, mind you, this is considered working. You know, when you're on YouTube and you make a career out of it, you could still have someone watch the child or the children while you go ahead and do your videos. Because, you know, this is what's going to bring money. You know, you're streaming. You're, you're, you're bringing in income. So, again, go ahead and comment below and also leave your... Um, you know, your experiences. I know this shit is going to be funny. Yo, I remember one time, <laughs> now this was a long time ago, we was taking SEPTA, right? And this baby was just walking around touching everybody. And the first thing I thought about was germs. All the damn germs that this baby is picking up by touching everybody and then rubbing her hand back and forth along the seats where you sit down at. So first of all, she could have fell while the train was moving. She could have fell. And secondly, she gave her a bag of potato chips and she started eating it and sucking on her fingers and i said see this is exactly why babies get sick so easy you know it's a, it's a lot of reasons you need to get your child sis <laughs> but anyway comment below about that now the next thing i want to speak about is something that you guys been asking me to talk about for the longest y'all been asking me to talk about the beef between lala and seven y'all wanted to know if i thought it was real or fake and i just didn't want to talk about it because i could tell well it looked like it was scripted by zooted entertainment it looked like it was something scripted by ddg so what i'm gonna do right now and i'm going to insert this clip of seven and lala which is all the way at the end of the beef where they were sitting in the car talking about what happened and they straight up said that ddg was um instigating trying to get them to fight matter of fact let me tell y'all Lala said um, she felt like DDG was instigating. Seven agreed with it. And Lala was saying she understands entertainment, but this was going into their real life. She said as a friend in real life, you would think DDG wouldn't do that because he knows that she does not like drama. So with that being said, do y'all believe it? I'm still going to insert the clip because I want y'all to hear them say it so that y'all can look at their body language and their facial expressions and see if y'all think it was real or not. All right, so I'm gonna come right back after I play this clip right here. Mm -hmm. You saying you didn't want me to do that, then I was like, okay, F it. Like, yeah. yeah, well, I more so just felt like, if I'm gonna be honest with y'all and her, I feel like he was instigating and I didn't like that. I can see where you're saying that because yeah. even like when we were out, he just like kept asking me about you and I'm like, why do we gotta Yeah, keep me talking too. About and it? I know it's like, okay, y'all, let's be real. It's entertainment. You know, he knows what y'all wanna see, but I just felt like as a friendship in real life, if you know I'm not really trying to be in drama and it's, it's like. talk about it yeah like and i'm like okay you want to record i might as well record too and just right. continue this but it was not really something i wanted to do yeah. i don't know i'm more he so shouldn't have been making his own videos yeah. behind our beef like that hyped it up it hyped it up yeah. And it was like never conversations about what was going to be done. Everyone just did it. So I think we were all just playing off of each other. Right. Um, but y'all saw I told him in the last video, like I felt like he was kind of being funny and instigating. And yeah. he don't see it that yeah, way. Yeah, like coming to tell you what I said. Is like... Yeah, and I get it. It's entertainment, but it's also like our real life. So yeah. um, that was what hyped it up. Of course, people commenting, giving their two cents. Um, I do understand like what you're saying now, but that's how I think it initially escalated. No, I see how it looks petty too. It was yeah. kind of petty. I just, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. I thought it could be all fun and games, and it turned into... Yeah. Not that I don't think that my rap was better. Okay. <laughs> I mean, no, your rap was good. Was Yours good. was too. Okay. But it was good. Okay. I liked it. I six days to it. I thought he was a little I know, that's all I cared about. I'm like, okay, well... 
but I mean, I still think we need to settle it. Yeah, for Honestly, sure. I mean, we could have this talk, but it's still gonna be up in the air. Like, I feel like it's still just kind of like was better. Yeah. Okay. So I think I think we should just do what everyone wants us to do and expect us to do. We should just have a rap battle. I'm down. But are we gonna write our own raps or let's let them decide? Yeah, y'all. Should we write our own raps or should we have DDG? Rewrite Make us a, something. Yeah, rewrite us something and we don't know what it is or whatever. I feel what like the middleman can't do it. Yeah. Like now it's on us. Okay, guys, I am back. So what do you think about the situation? See, it can be pretty confusing, you know, because entertainment, it can be sometimes you believe them, sometimes you don't. But when Lala said, like, as a friendship, as in real life, you know I don't like drama, and, and it's spilling over into our real life, it made me think, well, damn, that's crazy that DDG was actually starting trouble between them. Um, Y'all saw the videos where he was going back and telling Lala what Seven said, going over there telling Seven what Lala said. What if these two would have actually fought, though, in real life? What y'all think? Comment below. Like, would y'all want to see them fight? Because I damn sure did not want to see them fight. I was actually happy when um, Seven said that they were better together making videos instead of having beef with each other. Nobody wants to see that. You know what I'm saying? I actually enjoy them actually making videos together. But y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think. And last but not least, I want to leave a clip of Seven and her baby in the car. I want you guys to hear what Seven was saying. And I'm hoping that it reaches some of these young girls. She's going to let you know a little bit about motherhood as far as her experiences so far. You know, babies, sometimes sometimes you just might get a baby that cries all the time. So for all these young girls who be talking about they have baby fever and I can't wait to have a baby and I want to have twins, all the shit that y'all be talking. Listen, everything is not about taking pictures for Instagram and looking cute all the time. It's just not like that. So I'm going to put this small clip in here before I go. And hopefully it reaches you guys to see that it's not always beautiful. It's not always peaceful. It's not always calm. It's not always cute. Okay. All right, y'all. So I will see you guys in the comments. Let's get it. Hey. Um. Who you want now? You are not having a good day and mommy does not like it. I keep thinking that everybody coming out the door, sir. Uh, yeah. Kids are hard, guys. Don't have kids until you're like 30. Now I know why they say you wait till you're 30 because it just makes sense to wait till you're 30. Your patience is different. I get so frustrated sometimes. I just go scream in the closet. But I think even 30 year olds say that that happens. I think it's just no way you cannot eat keys because they're filthy. I think there's just no way not to be frustrated. Here, play with some lotion. Shea butter. All right, well, if you don't want it, stop trying to final destination us and throw stuff on the floor when I tell you about that. They see you throwing a the fit. They see you. Oh. They see you throwing a fit. Oh, baby six. Him so bad. Him is so, so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> Y'all, he's so freaking bad. Stop. Give him a kiss. Say, um. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 